some land. Right now we are like almost two kilometers off the highway. And um, the roads here, I can see, like right here. Water here is going to be two feet deep in the rainy season. And when I asked about the land, it says, oh, it's not far from the highway. So we see what happens to a foreigner when he goes to buy land in the Gambia. falsehood the but you have to what you are told before you see the land and then when you go and see the land it's completely different Yeah, where are we going, man? Uh -huh. Where are we going? I mean, this is okay. like almost three kilometers off the road. Yeah, we're almost there. Well, I'm there. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's no new development. It's, and, and during the rainy season, this road is going to be impassable. If I can't find what I want, the price I want, I just won't buy it. That's it. That's that's the way it is. But yes, I mean, you guys drove off into the woods, and and I don't even this for me. I won't. Buy, I'm not going to buy land out here. This is this is way too far up. Okay. All right. We'll go. Well, let's say one five hundred thousand for this land. I I won't even buy. It's two hundred by two hundred. They say. Let's see what the price is. Let's see what the price is. 200 by 200. Whether, I'm not interested in whether immigration bought that or not. I remember 
in 2010, they told me Bizzolo Road will be paved. Mm. They're going to get ready to pave the road in Bizzolo. This is 2022, and the road in Bizzolo is still not paved yet. Still not paved. 12 years. And, and that area, a bunch of wealthy people live out there. Millionaires. Road's still not paved yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, I tell them thank you very much. I'm going home tired. They, maybe uh, they can find somebody else to buy it. All right. One hundred by one hundred on the main road. Twenty miles from from where we live right now. Yeah. We can buy a hundred by a hundred over where we live now for less than one one million. And this is ridiculous. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I wanted to buy some land and develop it, not build houses on it, not build houses, but build business. So that I can invest, you know, I can invest in helping Gambia grow. But me, I don't have to do it. I can just buy a small plot, live on it, and then if I gotta do that, I won't even bother to live here. It's serious. If I have to buy a small plot, I won't even bother to live here. A lot of foreigners are coming here and buying land. And these guys see foreigners as the next way of getting rich. Look at this road. How am I going to get in and out of this road? How are trucks going to get in and out? When I, when I got a plant trees and this is where we came right yeah. I want to plant some trees and you know build a house how, how, how are trucks going to get in and out of here getting materials into here workers in here to build I gotta think about all of that these people Yeah. Oh, money. Yeah. Water well project, Gambia, Africa. <laughs> you build a well for the village. Tell this is a river in in the rain. Yes. Yes. You see, this is a, right now the river that is running. Not only here. Look at this. Look at that. See water runs from that side to go down this side. And right here, see how high that one's back there. How high it is back there. So right here, you can see up to the right around the steps right there because they build up the steps so people can walk see that so the water is going to be blocking the way you can't get through here well no you can't but my car will get through here but do I want to go back and forth every time I gotta go to grocery shopping or something do I have to, do I want to do that? You know? Do I want to? No. Do 
do I really want to drive in and out of here twice a week with this water well right in the middle of the road? difficult will we get through here in the rainy season? Look at this. Water is going to be flowing all the way down here, all the way to the highway. Between here and the highway, you got to pray that you don't have two feet of water every day. One video like this so far where I showed um, the land that I went to see. And I normally don't make videos like this, I just warn people to so help come prepared. Because there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna complain, you know, oh, you, you complain about Gambia, it's so beautiful. Look at the video. Look very carefully at this video and see. I don't know if you see what I see, but that land that I see out there is good for every business, which I will do. But I'm not going to spend an absorbent amount of money. Then maybe when I realize that I can't develop the land the way I want to, walk, have to walk away from it, and then I can't sell it myself. And I've seen that happen to foreigners here. I've seen people come here and invest. I heard about people coming here building, buying land, building a business. One guy built a shrimp farm, or a couple of them. And then had to abandon because people steal from him. You can't leave your business and go away and come back. People don't take care of it. Everybody in the village is watching you, and whenever you, whenever they can, they take what you got because they think it is. Well, you got the money. All of you who think that uh, this is not a good video, then don't watch it. When you come to buy, hope you prepare it. But that's just my opinion. And every man has got 
Now, you know what they say about opinions. Everybody's got one and they also got a... Uh... <laughs> anyway, opinions are like uh, the lower end. Everybody's got one. But, keep telling everybody. When you come to Gambia, you gotta come prepared. If you if if you just come to live here, you just want to buy a small house, buy a twenty by twenty plot of land. It will be overpriced, but you can afford it. Build a house. The house is not gonna be well built, but you know you can live in it. Workmanship here, quality of workmanship is almost horrendous. So you have to either know how to build or know somebody who can build who's going to make sure that your house gets built correct. And if you're coming here to build a small house, just retire, relax, it's fine. By your 2020, you know, in the um, nice area close to San Yang or Jam and Jelly, and build a small house and relax. Tell me, it's very good. You go out a couple of weeks, couple of days a week, get your little uh, vegetables and yeah, go to the beach and you always got sunshine here. Even during the rainy season, still a little bit of sunshine. So place is a nice place. But if you have to leave your house, uh, that's another story. Look at this. <laughs> I know people who build houses here and then they can't go back to the US because they have no family member to stay in the house. And when you come back, guess what? But that's another story. And those things you will learn and you'll learn how to take care of them when you get here. Anyway. Go home, get something to eat, relax. I hope you're gonna have a great day, just like I'm having a great day. Don't get me wrong, uh, I'm showing you, you know, about the Gambia, but I'm still enjoying, you know, here. Otherwise, I won't be here. I would come back and put up with all the doo-doo that I was putting up with before I got here. And there are other places in the world that I can go. But I'm African, so. Anyway, hope you enjoy your day. Like I said, like I'm enjoying my day. Go home, sit down, get something to eat, relax. Right? Yeah, relax. Oh, exactly. that's tired day. <laughs> tomorrow we gotta do the same thing. Where? Find some place to go go walking or somewhere. Enjoy. Good home. But the circumstances that you just experienced with me. I wouldn't put myself to that. Uh, they might be <laughs> disappointed, but this is my money. I work hard for it. You know? If I give them, when I give them the money, they don't care what I do with the land after that. If I can't do anything with that land, they have the money. So now I'm out. I got 
go back to America and work again to get that money back. So, you gotta pay attention to these things. In Africa, hey. <laughs> like I saw a guy in Colombia went down there to invest. They show him all around and show him a good life and good good. As soon as he spent all his money on this land, start moving, baby. Guess what? They kill him. Money gone, he's dead. And don't think that it wouldn't happen to you in Africa. Anyway, let me stop my little rant here. Come prepared. Like I said, always come prepared. If you don't like my video, go and watch it. There's no being negative or positive. Information is information. Information is information. When a man told you, hey, you, your eye looks like it's got a bloodshot, you better go to the doctor. That's good information. It might be negative, you might see it as negative. Look at the friends, what are you doing? You might see it as negative, you know somebody telling you that you're going to be sick or something but it's information and if you pay attention you go to the doctor you doctor and say hey uh, you got a blood clot that can travel to your brain or it might be nothing at all but information information not negative or positive you use it for what it's good for all right you use it for what you choose to use it for I had to learn that lesson. When I learned it, hey, I seen it work for me time after time after that. But I was I was thinking about how negative things are. Now, hey, it's so cool. I seen people t look at something that other people say is negative. Next thing you know, they were billionaires. So, anyway, okay, have a great day. Like I said, wherever you are. Peace.